manufacturing for the next generation, and building the next great thrill ride. This week on the Senate Report. Air travel is a big part of Ohio's manufacturing history. We are, after all, the birthplace of aviation. And today, Ohio continues to lead at the forefront of aviation technology. GE Aviation and the University of Cincinnati are working together on the next generation of aircraft engine technology. And this week, several members of the Senate visited UC to see some of those engines in action. When you're in the early stages of, of developing products, you really want to, to um, evaluate it from a research and, and science point of view. Uh, the facilities here has enabled the, the researchers and the students to be able to dig in into some tough problems and help us to you know, solve some of those issues and that you know, we can actually further our design development to actually get them into product. From the air down to the ground, Ohio's central location makes our state critical to the nation's transportation infrastructure. The folks at UC are leading there too, working with concrete and developing new building materials to make roads and bridges stronger. If you drive over a bridge, if you walk into a building, those structures rely on concrete steel, beams, and others. And in fact, some of the steel here, designed at the University of Cincinnati, was used in the new Freedom Towers in New York to make them more flexible, more strong, and obviously uh, less likely to uh, be destroyed. Agriculture is still the number one industry here in Ohio. And although we've been plowing fields and planting crops for centuries, Technology has really changed the way we get the job done. Some of the latest and greatest innovations in farming were on display this week at the Ohio State Farm Science Review. Everything from new breakthroughs in the study of bees to the use of unmanned aircraft systems for agricultural use, it was all here. Members of the Senate, including Senator Bob Peterson, who owns and operates a farm, were there to get a hands-on review. It gives agriculture across the state of Ohio and really across the Midwest an opportunity to come together, see the latest technology, uh, look at the newest uh, equipment, and we all dream about new equipment just like uh, everybody else dreams about a new car. So it's an exciting time for us. It's a time for us to, to say hello to old friends and to learn a little bit more about how we can raise the crop that feeds this country. If you don't know her, Joanne Davidson is one of the most important and influential people in Ohio's history. She was the first woman speaker of the Ohio House, and then went on to become national committee woman for the Republican Party and the co-chair of the Republican National Committee. But perhaps her greatest legacy is the Joanne Davidson Leadership Institute. The institute, which was founded in the year 2000, provides training and support for women who are interested in public and community service. This week, the current class of the institute visited the State House to learn more about Ohio's legislative process and talk with current members of the Senate. Some of the most beautiful and historic parts of our state are located in Southeast Ohio. But Appalachian, Ohio is also one of the most economically disadvantaged and isolated areas of the state. Joyce Ohio's Hill Country Heritage, Heritage Area Heritage is a nonprofit organization working to change that by promoting tourism and economic development in Appalachian, Ohio. Senator Tim Schaefer addressed members of that organization this week during the third annual Appalachian Heritage Luncheon at the State House. Finally, this week, fall is upon us, and that means amusement parks are going to start shutting down for the season. Ohio has some of the best roller coasters in the country. Where did they come from? Ohio, of course. In fact, this company manufactures most of the steel coasters for parks all across North America. Members of the Senate took a tour of the facility this week to see all the work that goes into making those twists and turns and drops that draw thrill seekers to Ohio all summer long. Most of what you ride on at Kings Island much of what you ride on in uh, Six Flags over Texas and other of the Six Flags are built right here in Claremont County as well as roller coasters that are shipped from made here and shipped over to China as well. This roller coaster right behind me will see opening next next year in Kings Island. It is one of two Cedar Fair roller coasters that are built here in Ohio by Ohioans. It is important that we continue to support these Ohio companies that are investing for Ohio's future. Well, that's all for this week. As always, you can keep up to date with us every day on our social media pages, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Vine, at Ohio Senate GOP, or visit our website, ohiosenate.gov Republicans. Thanks for watching.